In this lab, we'll be verifying Newton's second law. So in Newton's second law, we'll be looking at how acceleration is affected by the force and the mass. Okay, so for this lab, so grab a piece of straw and then you um, maybe cut a small part of that because you don't need this whole length. And then uh, you should have this string, so pass the string through that straw, pass the string through this straw, okay. And pull the string from this end. Now bend this straw and then you need to have some spacing here. So you will fix this um, part of the straw with a piece of tape. So you can use a uh, scotch tape. Let's put one on this side. Okay, uh, make sure this is fixed. Like that. Okay, if you uh, if it is not uh, fixed, you can put more tape to fix it. Uh, like that. Okay, make sure it's vertical. Now we'll tie this in to a car. So uh, you should have a hot wheel car like this. So we'll stick one end of this string to the hot wheel. The way we can um, stick this string to the hot wheel car is by using this sticky thing. So you can peel this sticky thing off and then stick this to the string. Okay. And then stick this to the hot wheel car like that. Okay. So now this is now we will pull this car with this string. So cut this string. Now let's tie this end of the string to this hook. Um, before you tie it, you want to measure the weight of this hook. So it's about 6.5 6.5 gram. So let's tie this to this end. So the weight on this end acts as the force. So we'll be applying force on this end. And our mass is this one. This car is the mass. So let's uh, put something on that to stop that. That's a roll. Okay. So that's our mass. That's our weight. So we'll be pulling the mass using this weight. So we'll be varying the mass of this card by applying the same amount of force. Okay, so we'll keep this force constant and then we'll apply various amounts of mass on this. So we also need to weigh the mass of this car. So it's 30, 31.8 gram. Okay, so you need to write the mass of the car as 31.8 mass of car is 31.8 gram and the mass of the hook is 6.5 gram although I'm saying mass of the hook but this is the weight okay so what you need to do is uh, force that we are applying equals that mass 6.5 gram divided by 1000 that will give us the mass in kilogram and then multiply that by 9.8 so that mass divided by 1000 gives us the mass in kilogram and that times 9.8 gives us the force that we, are, that we are applying here in newtons. So that's our force and that's our mass. Okay. Now we'll always start from the, this height. Okay. So this height will be constant throughout this experiment. So we'll be measuring the height in such a way that this top part of the hook is touching the bottom of the straw. So let's see what that height is. So you can measure from the bottom of this hook to the floor. 
So measure the distance from the bottom of the hook to the floor. That gives me 65 centimeters. Okay, so my distance here is 65 centimeters. I need to convert that to meters. So 65 over 100 gives me uh, 0 0.65 meters. So that's the distance. And that distance will be traveled by this car when it rolls and when the hook hits the floor. Now we'll let go of this car and this hook will pull the car down and uh, the hook will hit the floor and we'll find the time during which the hook hits the floor. And that is the time the car takes to travel the distance of 0.65 meters. So again, we'll be keeping this constant and we'll be changing the mass on the car. So if I let go of this, it will roll down. So now for the time, we, we want to find the time, we'll be using our stopwatch on my phone. Okay. So on your phone, you can find the timer. So that's my stopwatch. Now, as soon as I drop this, as soon as I let go of this car, I'm going to start this and then I will stop that as soon as the hook hits the floor. Okay. So start, stop. Oops. So that's my time. I got 1.23 seconds for this mass of 31.8 gram. I need to convert that to kilogram later. My time is 1.23 seconds. Okay, so using that time, I will be finding the acceleration. So acceleration is two times distance, which is 0.65 meter over time squared, which is 1.23 second squared. So I need to find that to find the acceleration. Okay, that's the first trial. Now for the second trial, um, you go back to that same height and then now you will be adding some weight on this car. So for adding the weight, I'm going to use this Play-Doh So take a small piece of Play-Doh. Um, see how much Play-Doh I want. So I'm going to add about 10 gram of Play-Doh. Okay, so 10, this is 10 gram. So I'll add 10 gram of Play-Doh on this car. Now we'll do the same thing again. So go to the stopwatch, reset that time. Again, you start from this height, same height. And then as soon as I let go of that, that so start the timer, start, and then stop. Okay. So that's 1.32. So for the mass of 31.8 plus 10 is 41.8. 41.8 gram for the mass of that. My time is 1.32 seconds and I can find the acceleration by using this formula again. So that's the second trial. Now for the third one, I'm going to put some more Play-Doh. So grab a little bit more Play-Doh again, maybe add about 10 gram. It doesn't need to be exactly 10. You can add a small piece of Play-Doh. Let's see how much that is. So it's about 11.5. Okay, I'm going to add 11.5 on that so then you can measure the weight again so the total weight of this car now is 53.5 okay so my mass now is 53.5 gram so for this particular mass I'm going to do the same experiment so we can start from here go to the timer Reset your previous time and then let go of that. So start and then stop. Okay, so my time now is 6 uh, t equals 1.65 seconds. Using that time, I can find the acceleration. So I just found the time 1.65, square that, and then the distance is again same, it's 0.65. So using that, so A is 2 times 0 0.65 meter we already converted the distance to meters and then my time now is 1.65 seconds squared so that gives me the acceleration okay now you will do the same experiment over and over okay for about eight to ten times add more play-doh and uh, get more data okay so that's what you're doing in the first part so once you're done with the play-doh you can put it back and 
cover this play-doh so that it doesn't dry up. In the next part, we'll be looking at how changing this force affects the acceleration of that cart. Okay, so for that, um, we don't want uh, very heavy things here. We'll start with lighter ones. So for this part, we'll be using the paper clip on this end. So insert the paper clip to that hole on this string. So hang that paper clip and then now we'll start with very small weight so let's see if this paper clip can pull this mass so it's not pulling that means we need to add some weight on that so that it can barely pull the cart so add a small piece of play-doh on this uh, paper clip so now when you measure the distance you'll need to measure the distance from the bottom of the paper clip okay so the top of the paper clip should be touching the the straw and we'll be measuring the, the distance from the bottom of the paper clip to the floor so measure that distance uh, in the previous part we measured the distance from the bottom of the hook to the floor which was 0.65 meters but this time it's a it's a paper clip so we need to measure it again uh, 0.67 meters so this time my distance is distance is 0.67 meters okay now i'm going to use a small piece of play-doh here and let's see if this will pull the cart or not a car or not yeah so it's pulling the car so that means i don't even need that much piece i want to start with small piece so that it barely pulls the car so it's still pulling at high speed so we don't want to move it at high speed lower the speed easier it is to um, measure the time okay so just small piece of play-doh stick that see if it can pull the yeah so it's pulling so that means this is good now before we do this experiment we want to measure how much this weighs so put this on this uh, measuring scale see how much that weighs so it's two gram so this is two gram now I want to convert that to because this is force so I want to convert that to kilo um, kilogram and then to Newton so my force is two gram over 1000 times 9.8 okay so that gives me about 0 0.02 Newton okay so my force is about 0 0.02 Newton you need to do the exact calculation I'm just doing rough calculation here so for this force will find the acceleration so do the same thing as you did before so reset your time from previous trial now let go of that card and start your timer and then stop okay as soon as it hits stop so my time is 3.16 so for this force time is 3.16 and with that i can find the acceleration so use this formula to find acceleration for that particular force now add a small piece of play-doh on that so i'm going to add a small piece of play-doh on that now let's see what is the weight of this so take the weight so it's 3.4 gram so my weight now is 3.4 gram so we need to convert that to newton so it's 3.4 over 1000 times 9.8 that gives me the force okay again so the force here is mass of this divided by thousand times 9.8 okay so that's the force and then for this particular force let's find the acceleration so reset the timer and then let go start stop okay so my time here is let me do it again start stop so 1.78 my time here is 1.78 with that time you can find the acceleration for this particular force okay now again add a small piece of play-doh on that and again take the weight of this so that's 4.3 gram so 4.3 divided by 1000 times 
that gives me the force okay so for this particular force I'm going to measure the acceleration so reset and start and stop let's redo that reset start and stop okay so 1.71 so the time is 1.71 for this particular force my time is 1.71 and with that I can find the acceleration so you will do this eight times okay so you add different amounts of weight on that by adding the play-doh and then you will find the acceleration for different forces.